hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohamed Ali and in this video tutorial we are going to see about the dynamic list view in flutter so I hope that you have watched the previous video tutorial which is about the uh, static list view in flutter and in this video tutorial we are going to cover the dynamic list view with example and imp implementation in visual studio code so all of the elements of a static list view get created at once this is fine for a short list but not for a long list I mean the static list view is fine for a short list but not for a long list which means that if we have a large number of data or you can say large number of elements then we cannot use the static list view while for a large number of I mean for a long list or you can say large number of data we can use the dynamic list view you can make a dynamically created list view by using the list view dot builder constructor this will create the list view items only when they need to be displayed on the screen if you have worked with the Android Studio or the Swift okay I mean the Xcode then uh, basically the dynamic list view is just like the recycler view in Android development if you have any knowledge or in the uh, Xcode okay so it works like dynamic list view works like an Android recycler view but you will be impressed and happy to see that basically uh, it is a lot easier to create and implement the dynamic list view in flutter I mean we just uh, follow we just write some few line of code and we can implement a dynamic list view so easily so let's do it so open visual studio code create a new flutter project and once you create it then come here to the lib inside this we have this man dot dot file remove all the code from the man dot dot and import this material dot dot library then we have this wide man and inside we have this run app so just quickly create a, I mean the basic structure of it so we can create a stateless widget and we can give it the default name which is my app and let's call it here my app that's it we can say return new material app in here we can say home scaffold app bar let's give it a title sorry new app bar title the title for this will be we can say dynamic list view so this is all about the basic structure I mean for creating a flutter application now let's start working on the uh, dynamic list view in flutter so for that I'm going to uh, create a stateless widget and a stateless widget and I'm going to call this as uh, my dynamic list view and what we're going to do is we can call this here in our material app which will be our main body for this app okay dynamic list my dynamic list view and this so yeah so just like i told you guys that we uh, can create a dynamic list view by writing list view dot builder so we can say list view dot builder okay which is this one return list view dot builder and now in here we have to pass the item count and item builder now before we do that I will explain these also if we take an example of this I mean why basically we create dynamic list view which is just like uh, in the Xcode or Android development I hope you know about the recycler view it works like recycler view in, for, in flutter we use dynamic list view basically so if you have a large number of posts let's consider an example of a social networking app that is we have a large number of posts let's say uh, Facebook we have a text post a picture post I mean from our friends from different pages public pages okay so basically what we are doing there is that we are receiving all the uh, post data from the database and we, well, once we receive, uh, I mean, receive the data from the database, we basically store that data inside the array list, okay? 
inside the array list and then uh, one by one we retrieve that data from the array list and display it back to the user on the home page and the same is the case in the chat applications like messenger okay facebook messenger or other chat applications that is we receive uh, retrieve all the previous chats of a user and we uh, store it inside an array list and then one by one i mean uh, we show the all the chats to the user on the chat activity so in this example what we are going to do is we are going to create an uh, array list i mean you can say an array list or a string type array which will have a large number of data okay or you can say uh, let's consider a json string which has a large number of uh, data in in it okay so we will be uh, retrieving uh, one by one i mean uh, the list number of list one by one or you can say data one by one and we will uh, display it using the dynamic list view so for that uh, here i am going to uh, create final and we will take an example of countries and inside this final countries we are going to store all the country names okay so in here put these two single quotation and let's start from Algeria okay and type some country names make sure to close this thing okay inside this double single quotation then let's say Afghanistan and then another country name let's say Albania comma so here you can see i type all these countries name okay here you can see this algeria and all these countries which is more than i mean it is a large number of data inside these countries okay and uh, yeah so what we're going to do is now that here inside our list view dot builder we have to display it in a dynamic list on our home page i mean on the main screen so how we can do it we can do it using the item count and item builder now i will explain it but first let me write okay so item count countries dot length item builder let's pause the context comma index and then after this put these two curly braces and in here we can return a single uh, list style so that it can retrieve uh, all the data i mean until it come here to this uh, last name which is zimbabwe okay so it will display it so we can say return list style and make sure to put a semicolon here so we can say title new text was the country C went here index and yeah that's it save all okay and now let me explain what we just wrote inside this so here you can see we have this uh, item count okay so basically this item count tells the list view that is how many list items there will be and also we have this uh, item builder so basically this item builder functional uh, that dynamically builds each list style as it comes into view now the uh, function provide the uh, build context as the context parameter here you can see this and the item position as index okay so this is the build context as a context parameter and this one is the item position as the index parameter the index make it's convenient to get the data items from the list of these countries from the list of these countries names that we are using as a uh, backing data okay i mean just consider this that is we are retrieving this data from the database okay and we are storing it inside these countries and this item count basically tells that is how many list items there will be and this item builder uh, functions that dynamically builds each list style as it comes into view 
so I hope you understand this now uh, let's test the app and see what we got on the screen so all you're gonna need is just to write flutter run press enter and let's wait for it so the app is running now successfully and here you can see it dynamically still and here you can see it Algeria and all these countries name here you can see it China Cyprus Denmark I mean it uh, it uh, get all the data okay which is this one and we are uh, retrieving and uh, displaying it in our dynamic list view so here you can see it I mean this is so cool and so nice so just by writing this few line of code which is hardly uh, six or seven line of code we have uh, we can build a dynamic list view in flutter so I mean this, how much time uh, it saves uh, how much time it saves for us I mean if you are a flutter developer so you can save a lot of your time and you can write uh, applications for both the iOS and Android environments and now uh, let me tell you if you want to add a horizontal line I mean a divider okay basically to divide these rows I mean a divider between these rows and for that what we're gonna do is uh, all you're gonna need is just to type here that is list view dot sorry dot separated okay and after this uh, item builder okay here we can say separator builder and it needs a context comma index so two curly presses make sure to put a comma here and it is already there and now in here we can just return the divider which will add the division between the number of uh, rows so let's save all and let's hot reload shift r and just here you can see it now it looks more beautiful I mean you can see the divider between the uh, list or you can say these rows okay here you can see it now the most important thing is that uh, how we can get the uh, on click event or on tap event that is when a user click on let's say Armenia then how we can get this item or this item text okay because we will be needing that let's say in our applications okay so how we can do it so for doing that all you're going to need is just inside this uh, list style we can just say on tap or on long press okay so we are implementing this event okay you can do the same by following the step okay all you're going to need is just to type these two parentheses or these braces and then we have this curly braces and in here all you're going to need is uh, for this example let's uh, display it uh, I mean using the print here in the log okay and all you're going to need is just to type countries and then we have to pass the index to it make sure to put a semicolon here so this will uh, get the uh, name that is let's say if we click on Gen Germany from this list and we will uh, it will display it I mean if we'll get the index of that item and by using that index it will display the uh, I mean the data from the list okay so save all now you will see it that is how it works so it is refreshed now and now let's click on Azerbaijan and here you can see it Azerbaijan let's click on Belgium and here you can see it Belgium I mean you can randomly click Cyprus, Cyprus, France, France okay and here you can see it Malta where you can see it Norway I mean this is so cool and so nice Pakistan, Pakistan, Russia I mean it is working really nice Slovakia and yeah so in this way you get the on tap uh, event or online or uh, on long press event so yeah that's it for this video and i hope you understand that is uh, what is the dynamic list view in flutter and how it works and how to uh, get the data 
and add uh, events to it that is on tap on long press okay so yeah it is so simple and so easy so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now